So we're working on the DG boards, so specifically it's a DG XP, and we'll be wirelessly communicating with another DG XP board. So this is run on the XB protocol. So that means it runs over the RF signal. And there's two kind of methods, really. There's like the mesh network where you have multiple transmitters to one receiver. So I can show you like a diagram on screen, and we do have our separate scales for that that do run on a mesh system, but this is just a one-to-one -one communication with this particular one going to the computer, receiving the signal, and our our serial connection here, this DG board, connected to our readout for our scales and actually transmitting the live weight to our computer wirelessly over RF. So I will show you that now. So first, you're on your XUTU, download it, run all the firmware updates, and actually plug it in. So I get the mini USB to USB, plug it into the computer. You'll see it light up. And you can always right click device manager or just search for device manager. I would open. And you see, I have comp 11 and 12 because I have two cables. So I, you can unplug one, figure out which one it is. So this particular one for the computer is COM 11, just so you know which one's which. And then for my serial device with this DG board, it needs its own power source and the serial connection. So power source is my normal 9 volt adapter. Don't forget to hit the switch because it should be light up. Let's see. Don't forget to turn it on. And plug in your DB9 serial to USB cable. And for my case, this is my COM12. So when I'm adding the devices here, I can close my connection here, search for new radio modules, and you see COM1112. Next, keep everything the same. So now I'm actually discovering my radio modules, and you see one appeared, the COM11, and now we're waiting for COM12 to appear. Okay, so they both appeared, that's good. And you see they're kind of different protocols, one has an update, new firmware. So this particular one is the XB3, and using 802.15.4, which is what we're going to be using. But this one is running on the Zigbee 3, which is a, net, a mesh network system. So let me just click on that to show you that. So it takes a while, but just know that we're doing a one-to-one -one communication. So we want to have one transmitter to one receiver. You technically can have more than one transmitter sent to one receiver, but that's better to use the mesh Zigbee network for that. So in this particular example, we're just doing one-to-one. -one. So we're going to actually update the firmware to the newest firmware with the newest bootloader. Okay, so you're going to click on update. See, right now it's using Zigbee 3, which is the mesh system, that's not what we want. We want to run everything on the 802.15.4. And currently the 200D is the newest firmware version. So we're actually going to update to that. And saying it's a different bootloader, yes, we're going from the different bootloader, so you want to change that, okay to that. And you'll actually see little flashing light here. Okay, so click OK. Okay, so a couple things will set to the default. So you could do the same for the other radio module. So you click on it, update to the newest, whatever protocol you're working on. This specifically we're working on the 802.15.4. Uh, so it's going to be wirelessly transmitted between two. So update that one as well. I think this one's already updated to the newest firmware. So check on that. And then we're going to change the two settings on each one to show you what I mean. So. So yeah, you click on update, yeah, 200D, it's already updated to this one. Okay, so the two things we're going to be working on. So COM port 11, and we unplugged it in the beginning, this one. This particular one is going to be my receiver receiving the signal from my, uh, my transmitter. So this one connects to my computer. And this one, we're going to set up the my and the down low address. 
So that's how we're able to communicate on where the two channels are operating at, this on the same channel. So we're gonna scroll down, this is my column 11. So I'm gonna set my address here. So we can actually change this. So I'm gonna put, for example, 8888 as my, my address for this device, so it knows where to go. I write to it. And then my DL, so where do I go to receive a signal? Uh, you don't have to set that. On this particular one, since everything is being transmitted from this device to this device, all this has to have is an address, like a home address, where to go. This is my address, so it will know where to send information. So all you have to do is just set the address for this one. So DL is not set on the one receiving. So only thing you have to know is set the address of where it's the destination. So change that, leave DL, and we're going to change one other setting on this one. And that particular one is the AP setting. Because I don't want it... Yeah, API mode without escapes. So it always continuously runs. You can read what it, what it does here. But I don't want it to turn off because I want to continuously receive a signal. No power saving mode or anything. So make sure that is written to. Okay, so this one is set to receive the data sent from this one. So now we're going to go back to this one on COM12. This is my transmitting. I'm going to transmit my serial data from my readouts over XP wirelessly over the RF signal to the receiver on the computer. So in this case, my scale, I can read live data to my computer. So and we have specific software we're going to run to actually see if we actually receive the weight on scale. So here, make the the PAN ID, network of PAN ID is not important. It's at 3222, I leave it just default. But now we have to set the my address. So what is the, the address for this device particularly? So my example is just make up a number, but I put 2222. I'm gonna write to it. So this is the address to this device. And where is this device gonna send its serial data? It's coming in. Where is it gonna send it to? Well, my down address, destination address. Which if you remember previously, it was set to 8888. So saying that. Okay, so I'm now set my address for this one and where it's sending the data to and then this one I set the address where it's located at and not to turn off for power saving mode. Now I want to see if it actually works. So if you do is click on this tab over here. Remember this one is COM11 as actual uh, the one receiving data. So if you open it now, you're not going to see anything because you actually see on the lights here, it's not receiving any data, no serial data, I'm not saying anything to it. So, in this particular example, we're using our readouts, plug into my scale, so plug it in now, or whatever serial device you have, not important part. Have your device. So, on our device, we got set C18 which is a serial transmitting port over that DB9 connection. We need to make sure we set that to continuously transmit data. So in this case, we're gonna do C18, right now set to one. So we're gonna set to four, just for example, C19, set to three for 9600 baud rate, which is the default. And accumulate, save and exit. So now we're actually gonna unplug and we're trying to transmit data I'm gonna send our serial device data a live weight, currently zero pounds. I could add weight to scale, 1,245 pounds, or kgs, for example. And we're gonna send that data from this device to this board, which will wirelessly transmit it to this XP board connected to the computer. It could actually get the live weight. So, plug in our DB9 cable. Device. And you'll see immediately there's a little flashing light here for D in. So it's receiving a signal. It knows it's sending something. But you'll notice on this one, it also has a flashing light here on the transmit. It's actually receiving a signal. And if you notice on our screen here, when I open this port, the, the COM port, 
You can see it's actually receiving data. And if I make this a little bit larger, you can see the font better. You see receiving, you see the time, you see more and more packets of data sent. So I'm getting my live wait, and you see the two lights flashing on here, which is supposed to happen. So doing good. So now we actually connect to the software and actually open up the COM port, which in this case is COM port 11. And let's actually try to read what it is. So I'm gonna go my data long software. I'm actually gonna unplug my other serial cable because I don't need the serial cable for this one plugged in. I only have the COM port for this one. And I wanna see, do I see 1,245 kilograms on my software? And you can use whatever software you want. You can use PuTTY, but this is our custom software we write. So you could log your weights or your scale. So you need to call for more information about this if you're particularly interested in our software. So but you see, you can see on the screen how I could add weight on there and weight shows up. It's done wirelessly, the scale is far away. And I could zero, I could tear, I could change the units from pound to kilograms. So I could actually control the scale from my computer from very far away wirelessly. So in this situation, uh, if you want to have the live weight but a computer far away that records data, the software can. We create your own software. So if you're interested in the software itself or how to wirelessly communicate the readout to a computer and to your own database system, contact us and we'll help you to help you out. And you can contact sales, that's S-A-L-E-S, at OptimaScale.com. Thank you.